Spurs are on their way to Bilbao. Tottenham's going to... No, no. May, maybe, but let's not, let's not get carried away. But yeah, full time from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and it's finished. Tottenham 3, Carabag nil. We win our first Europa League game. Unlike someone, <coughs> Man United. Um, but, but uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, obviously we got the win. Three points and that's all that matters, to be honest. I mean, it wasn't great, though, let's be honest. I mean, I'll tell you what, though. Positive side, we did very well. Cause uh, we did very well with ten men. Cause obviously Radu Dragashin, absolute donkey, getting sent off after seven minutes. I mean, he kind of he probably panicked to be honest. And of course, he's now out for I think the next three games in the Europa League, which is obviously the game next Thursday against Ferran Cavros away. He's out for the next home game against AZ Alkmaar. Then of course he's out for probably the toughest game for us in the Europa League, which is Galatasaray. Away, I mean, that's going to be a tough game, that is Galatasaray. I mean, I watched Galatasaray last night. I mean, by the way, um, I did do a reaction to that game. So go over to my other channel, which is European Football All Time. I did a reaction on there and I did a reaction to the Man U game. I'll probably, I know after this, I'll probably do a reaction to the Malmo game as well earlier on, because Malmo against Rangers. But yeah, anyway, back to this now. Um, But yeah, you know, we did very well with 10 men. Dragshin getting sent off. I mean, I do feel a bit bad for Bergval because I wanted to see what he could do tonight. You know, his first like big game. You know, European. Euro. I think. I think. I think. I think it's his first time playing European football. I mean, I'm not sure. Of course, of course, his previous club was Dragard, and so I'm not sure if they were in Europe before. I don't know, but. But yeah, I mean, um, but hopefully he might get a few minutes on Sunday against United. If not, hopefully he'll get minutes in the next game in the Europa League against. Ferran Cavros next week. Um, but yeah, but just performance-wise, it wasn't really great. I mean, yeah, you know, we scored three goals, but we didn't really create much, to be honest. And like, I thought Carabag were the better team. You know, every time they were going forward, they were attacking down our right-hand side every single bloody time. I mean, if Carabag would have had their shooting boots on, they maybe could have got three. They could have got a point. Maybe Carabag could have even won the game, to be honest. I mean... Just they, Carabag were the better team. If you have, you have to be a hundred percent honest, which I am right now, Carabag were the better team. They were. I mean, Carabag were the better team, and and Yemi can be happy that we won. Obviously, obviously, I am happy that we won. But performance wise, Car Carabag were the better team. They were. They had so many chances to score Carabag, but like I said, they just didn't have their shooting boots on today. But I'll tell you what, though, on the positive side though, Archie Gray. But his performance is probably going to go under the radar because I thought he was absolutely brilliant tonight. You've got Archie Gray, considering most of Carabag's attacks were coming down his side, I think. Um, he was amazing. I thought he played very, very well tonight. You know, Brennan Johnson as well. Three games in a row he's scored now. He knocked on the door to Coventry. Bang! Dead. Brentford. Dead. Carabag. Dead. Man United, you're next. And then it's Ferran Cavros, then it's Brighton, West Ham, AZ. The game after that. Um, but yeah, the game after that. But yeah, but you know, I'm happy for Johnson. You know, he's silencing the haters, um, which is lovely to see. And of course, hopefully he'll make it four goals in four games against Man United on Sunday. But, but you know, happy for him to score in that. Obviously, Solanke as well. His second, two goals in two games. Obviously, scored against Brentford, scored today. And um, I mean, for Bournemouth last year, I think he scored twice against Man United, so hopefully he'll make it free from free. But yeah, but just, I, I think they're, they're, for me, there are positives and negatives to this game. The negatives that Carabag were the better team, we were defensively, we were a bit open half the time, and we just didn't really create much, to be honest. We just didn't really create much. But positives, though, like I said, Gray was good. Johnson scored again, very good. Solanke scored again, good. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. But, yeah, obviously, we've got the win. And we move on to the next game in the Europa League, which is Ferran Cavros away next Thursday. Because the next game in general, big game on Sunday, Manchester United away. I mean, they got fucking outplayed by fucking FC Twente. So, hopefully we can go to Old Trafford and win that one. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like. Ow, fuck. Oh shit. But yeah. 
Smash that subscribe. That is not the well-worth end of the video, but yeah, bye.